the mother rushed into the bedroom and shouted to her husband, quick, call the emergency room. Little Johnny just swallowed a quarter. The husband calmly said, I'm just going to give our pastor a call. He can get the money out of anybody. <laughs> Sometimes we say one thing and we mean something else. Yet Paul is clear to the Corinthians. There are different gifts with the same spirit. There are different ministries, but the same Lord. Do we see ourselves as uniquely loved and gifted by God? Do we only want to sometimes see things our way, forgetting about the Lord and others? Rabbi Harold Kushner, some years ago, wrote a wonderful little book entitled, When All You Ever Wanted Isn't Enough. And he says in this book, our souls are not hungry for fame, comfort, wealth, or power. These are rewards that create almost as many problems as they solve. Our souls are hungry for meaning. The sense that we have figured out how to live, so that our lives matter, so the world may be at least a little bit different for our having passed through it. You may think about it, the Lord knows well our weaknesses, and many failures. The Lord knows well our fears, our anxieties, and worries. That is why the Lord comes to us and says, peace be with you. However, with the help and grace of God, find the greatness within you and live it. With the help and grace of God, find the greatness within you and live it. This means we live life with a passion and compassion for others. And the word compassion in the Greek means to suffer with. And the Feast of Pentecost, which we celebrate, means we don't do this alone. On the contrary, the Feast of Pentecost celebrates the gift of the Holy Spirit to the disciples and each and every one of us. What do we mean by Holy Spirit? Simply put, the Holy Spirit is the mysterious presence of God within each one of us. The Holy Spirit is the mysterious, active presence of God within each one of us. The Lord God is with us. God bends to touch us first. This confused and fearful group was changed into a courageous body of Christian believers. They believed again after doubting. They hoped again after despairing. They loved again after faltering. You live in very tough times. Don't ever, ever give up. God is with us. The Spirit of the Lord is with us to be our strength. Cardinal Supich has a great definition of forgiveness. Forgiving doesn't change the past. It changes the future. Forgiving doesn't change the past. It changes the future. And please know, Jesus loves us just the way we are. And the Lord Jesus loves us too much to leave us that way.